Happy Own Brew, uh, Happy Own Brew Wednesday, uh, guys. Uh, number two for me, and this is going to be tagged in front of my keg to kettle conversion number two. Uh, it's a bit all over the place, I'm afraid. Bits here, bits there. It's um, as you guys have most probably already realised. I might be alright at DIY, but I'm absolutely useless computers and that sort of stuff. So there's a lot of repeating, this, that, and the other. But hopefully you've um, get the idea. Uh, let me just uh, just one quick thing, which I didn't video, and I wish I did, but I hadn't. Um, you'll see one part of it where I filled it with water. We sprung a fair few leaks. Thought we would because I did use these silicon washers. I'm not a great lover of them. They seem to squish and go all over the place. So I'm um, and I wish I had done it, but I didn't. I've actually fitted some Kevlar washers, and um, I've used this gear now only on the outside. Just get it from the eyewear shop. It's brilliant stuff. Uh, I don't like using the Kevlar washers or anything like that on the inside. Use a stainless steel nut, stainless steel washer, not a problem. So as I say, I've changed everything from that and used the Kevlars. And on some of them, just a little bit of this. The most smallest amount, a bit of PTFE tape around the uh, tube nut. Now, I don't normally use that either, but on a couple of them, it was leaking up the thread. So... Uh, as I say, a bit annoyed myself, put it all together and I haven't videoed that. So you'll see the part to the end of it where we sprung leaks everywhere, so only human. Thought I could get one or two leaks. It's because of them washers. They came with it. I thought I'll give them a go. Because um, they're supposed to fit in the grooves of these nuts. Yeah, just sprung leaks everywhere. So I've gone back to what I know, used the Kevlar washers on the outside. I can have on all my other stuff. It's fine now. It's all worked. The only thing I've got left to do is finish cleaning it. And then hopefully we'll be ready to use them on Sunday. So, uh, yeah, I'll tag this on the front of all that other waffle and garbage. I do apologise, guys. I hope everyone has a good, happy homebrew Wednesday. Thanks for all your comments and watching. Cheers. And uh, see you on Sunday. Right guys, back again. I've drilled the hole. Uh, apologies, I said it was a 10 mil. It wasn't. It's a 12. So I've drilled the hole out to 12.5. It's a, a 10 mil Allen key, uh, unless you've got an Allen socket, obviously to go on the front. And the flats on the back. I've got a 26 mil spanner, so I'm going to use a 26 mil spanner. But you can use a an adjustable wrench. You can tighten it down onto the two flats. So basically, that's in there. Obviously, the cutter is in the back of here. So hopefully, we can hold this on there. Onto the flats. And then just basically, slowly... Hopefully it will cut and I won't end up looking at right old Nana. Obviously it needs a little bit of force. Let me just take your time, it's nice and steady. You can put a little bit of lubricant, as I say, on the cutting. If you've got the ratchet tight with a longer handle, you're obviously less chance longer handle obviously it's easier but you've got to hold it on the inside also it feels like it's started to cut we hope he says it is quite tough You could most probably, if you had more room, turn the handle inside, spanner inside also. You definitely, obviously, have to hold it. It does take a bit of force. Oh, 
it's either cutting it or with flaring it. Hopefully. That is the start. As I say, I could have used a whole cutter, uh, but obviously not everyone has got the whole cutter. There we go. That's through it's gone. Under the end. That's obviously the flats I was talking about, where the spanner fits on. Even that slight like twisting, you can feel there's a little bit of heat in the uh, tool. And that obviously is the bit that's been chopped out. As you can see, it cuts, it takes the same profile as that to cut it out. It gives you a nice clean hole, a little bit, just a bit of emery tape around there, but it's uh, it's a lot, it's a lot neater. I mean, when you do these with a hole cut, currently you might be able to just see on this one. You can see I've had to mop around the edge just to get rid of the rough edges and I've had to do the same on the inside. So now what I'll do, I'll just clean that up a little bit because there is a little little edge on that. We'll just clean that off or so it's going to chew out of the seal and I most probably will just stick a little bit of love jelly, whatever you want to call the stuff on there, KY, whatever people like to refer it as. It's nice and smooth on the inside. But obviously I'm going to be putting the uh, thermostat probie. I suppose we might as well, we can just ch let's just check it, see if, it, see if I messed it up. You want to try and get the old as tight as you can. They only come in certain sizes, so I think there is a little bit of play. Yeah, it's quite quite a bit. I'd say a mil all the way around. So I will have to make sure that I really hold that nice and central. But tighten it up nice and tight. Um, you could use a stainless steel washer as well on there and obviously on the inside. The uh, the nut you can see there. Obviously these have got a slight oval to them and obviously it's round going that way so it isn't a perfectly flat surface like you'd like. Could spend the time if I wanted to try and flatten it or flare the surface but you can see obviously the difference in the hole I suppose hopefully maybe just there it's not a massive difference as long as it don't leak as I say it's got two quite good chunky ends on it to tighten it up so uh, I'll get on and give that a clean install it all and then come back to you all right guys Plus the uh, all the bits on. Uh, uh, I'll give you a quick run round, hopefully. Hopefully you can see. Right. Obviously got the tap at the bottom. If anything's going to leak, I'm going to do a wet test in a minute. I think it's going to be the uh, the tap round there, but we'll check that. Obviously got a uh, analog thermostat. Hang on, let me do it the other way. Hang on, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, so we've got the analog, analog one. Uh, purchased all of these from uh, Paul uh, Angel Homebrew. Uh, yeah, he's a very uh, good guy. I've had some stuff off him before. So, um, yeah, basically all the stuff is purchased for them. This one I've put a sight glass on, as you can see. I've not actually worked out the volume or done the markings or anything yet because it might leak and I might have to do something else uh, I've got a fill there or a whirlpool effect which if I show you inside I've obviously put a bulkhead connector in there so I'll bend a piece of stainless so it goes down to the bottom you can see at the back there there's the uh, two and a half kilowatt thermostat and then there's a over there also um, and I think you can see in there no load of rubbish right I'll quickly come round so 
that's the thermostat there, like I say. Um, yeah, the hole was slightly, slightly bigger with that cutter, as I said earlier. So the other keg that I've got to do, I might actually use the cone cutter because I've actually just checked my one, it goes up to 45. So um, it should only be 40 this, so that should be okay. The other thing I've actually done on all of these, I did tap these. So I tapped a thread in there. You don't have to do that. I don't actually know why I did it. Maybe so it was small, small enough. So I actually under drilled it and then tapped the thread. So these all wound in and then they've got obviously washers around there and then just stainless steel. Sorry, they've got O-rings in there and then stainless steel washers to squash them up. So we will check to see any of them they leak. I'm actually just going to put it outside the brewery there and or the outside the room there, fill it out with water and clean it. And as I quickly say again, that's the thermostat ready for the SCT when it, I get it. So that was the other reason for fitting obviously an analog one as well, because I can tell obviously all the time if that ever packs up, I can always revert to this or I can always manually do it from the top so uh, yeah I'll get out there fill out the water in that cleaner and um, see how we get on right as I said I thought the tap might be uh, where it would leak and it oh, I don't know if you can see there and it does you see it dripping just there but also it is on the side glass back a bit I've obviously put PTFE tape around here but I didn't put any around here this already came fitted but it's obviously leaking so I won't fill it anymore until I've rectified those two leaks um, the thermostat at the moment I'm gonna show you that show my foot seems okay so let's rectify them and then try again right guys um being a moan brew here again uh keg to kettle part two um it's a bit all over the place i do apologize for that um i'm just gonna quickly do a quick video of me drilling the other keg because i've actually just watched the other one back and i didn't actually show anyone if anyone's interested me drilling it so um i'm just gonna set up out there show you the drill bits and just do a couple of holes in the uh, in the keg to, to use the hole cutter for the element so I won't be using the cone cutter and I won't be stepping up too much only to 12.5 but just a quick one on how the uh, drills are used so I'll chuck this one on the beginning of part two uh, again apologies for it being all over the place um, I'm not too used to this so yeah this would be no I won't put it on the beginning I'll stick it on the end but it's yeah I'll stick it on the end so I'll just quickly uh, set the drill bits up and then go from there right I'm set up uh, hopefully you can see this I do apologize for the funny camera angle this is basically the drill bits that I've used um, I think I picked these ones up either from Tool Station or Screw Fix here in the UK. Uh, they're actually for stainless steel. Um, I'm not using any cutting fluid or anything because I say it's only 1.2. If I'm using thicker stainless, I do invariably use cutting fluid. Uh, I've chosen a part on the keg where it's not. There's a bit of damage here and a bit damage here, so I've actually chosen to do it there. But as I say. Uh, I don't always do it, I haven't done a centre punch or anything, so I just basically get my old drill on there. I've used a couple of pieces of wood just to hold it in place, and then straight through I go. And then I usually jump every other drill bit. As it goes. Hopefully you can see that, ain't got a clue. As I say, I'll just jump every other drill bit till I get up to the... The initial thing is, as soon as you've got through it, it's generally 
all right after that. Um, if you're using standard drill bits, then yeah, you're going to have a lot of trouble. So it's worth, if you can, purchasing a set of stainless steel drill bits. Uh, and if you look after them, they will last you quite a long time. So I'm only going to go up to the 12.5. On the last video I said it was 10.5, my error. It was an M12, makes it clearance for me to put the cutter in there. Basically would be a 12.5. Uh, which I think I've corrected myself in the other video. Sorry you can't see me, Ed. I do apologise. Um, it's a pity I haven't got a head cam, head strap for the GoPro. Uh, make sure we don't go too big. Because again, I don't want the hole to be too sloppy. Um, normally, this is how I do it. Hopefully you can hear me. I do apologise. Maybe I should shout. I've put the keg on the side because I find it easier for drilling. I've just used two blocks of wood to try and stop it from um, rattling around. Uh, I think I'll just go straight through the 12.5 uh, now. And then that'll give me the clearance to cut the other one out. I might actually do this one with a hole cutter. If I, if, but, uh, or just use the hole punch. And there we go. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely worth getting yourself a set of stainless steel bits if you're going to plan to do anything like that. Uh, it just does make life so much easier. And that's how I've done all the others in here, which I showed in the previous video. Uh, these were used with a cone cutter, obviously. This little one there, wherever it is. That, that one there didn't need a cone cutter because I think I just went up to the 12.5 uh, and obviously a cone cutter on the, this one. So yeah, I'll tag that on the end. Thanks guys.